Hey guys, what's up? It's the Chinchilla Notebook here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Oh dear Merlin, get yourself together. So today's video is going to be a Chinchilla cage tour and I decided to do this video because my cage is like not really how I want it right now, but I am planning to redo it hopefully by this fall because I'm going to be really busy during the summer. So anyway, I'm going to be planning to redo his cage and I'm going to do another cage tour obviously then too, but I just thought I would show you what his cage is looking like right now and what it's kind of going to look like for the next couple months so anyway let's just get right into it um this it's not looking the best right now i just have to warn you but i thought i would show you anyway because i have not done a cage tour in ages so anyway let's just get into the video so first what i have here is merlin's cage and it is a critter nation model 162 i never can focus with this camera it's a digital camera i don't even i don't even think i can focus i don't know the dimensions are here which you cannot see sorry but basically it's like about five feet tall and like five feet wide okay so what you see is just going to open the cage doors and they open with these little handles are really nice because they're childproof so little kids can't open them which is pretty nice although my little cousin she's like three years old she's starting to learn how to do it so anyway <laughs> So up here is the first level of Merlin's cage and I did recently add this level. There used to be no level and just ledges, but I added it because up here is where I like his hay station to be. I think it just keeps a mess all in one place and he can just like jump up there and just, you know, be in his solitary hay place and it's kind of dirty right now. But anyway, so he actually has a sewn liner which is down there in the wash. Another reason why this cage door isn't exactly prepared like I'm not prepared for it this is just a fleece blanket right now it's not a liner it's just what I'm using to cover it and don't worry it's covered really really well it just doesn't look that nice sorry his normal fleece that I use for that level is this blue polka dotted one I don't know if you can see it but anyway it's in the wash right now but up here I just have this hay sack that I actually made for him and I think I have a video on how to make it too. If I do, I will link it down below. And then on this door he has his water bottle. It is the KT water bottle. I actually have a huge one that I got from PetSmart. This one I really, really loved. It's huge, it's glass, and it looks cute. But for some reason it just stopped working like it broke or something. I'm not sure. But I just couldn't use it anymore, so it just sits in there until I can figure out how to fix it. But this one, I'm not the big fan of because, as you can see, it like the cap doesn't even coordinate with the flat part of this. As you can, like, it's all twisted. I don't know if you guys can tell what I'm saying, but anyway. Up here are some ledges that I actually made. I just bought a slab of wood, or a plank of wood from Home Depot. And I covered them with fleece because I accidentally got fresh pine wood and not kiln dried pine so I had to cover them with fleece liners that I made and then over here is his coop cup I got him a coop cup and he used to have a ceramic dish but then he started flipping that over all the time so I got him this one and guess what he still can flip it he literally flips it and like it lands here sometimes I even find it down there he's crazy and then down here this fleece is a fleece liner that my grandmother sewed for me and the fleece is from Joanne's fabric and this is a reptile sort of I have no idea what it's called but I usually put either that or these rocks in his cage right now this is what's currently in there and then this used to be a pumice pumice ledge but he chewed it all off so now it's just this little chunk and he I just cleaned up the mess that he made with it in his cage and these are just some scraps of wood some random what are you doing Okay, so I guess he wants to destroy his cage. This is from Petco. I actually ordered it online in the green color because it's the only size that could fit Merlin. What is he? Oh my word. See what I have to deal with? Anyway, so he mostly just sits on it and pulls it. He never goes inside of it, really. <laughs> anyway, this is a cut. A cut? This is a hut that I recently got from Petco. I think. No, it was from PetSmart. What am I saying? And this was about $17 and I love it because it's really, really big and I've never had a hut so big for Merlin. The lighting is so bad down here. Anyway, so it's pretty big and I have his pillow and I sewed this myself. It has a ton of fleece scraps in it and I love it. It goes with his cage. It's just so cute. And I put it in there and so he just like tugs at it and pulls it. And then back here, this hut used to be part of a hay manger or a hay rack, but he destroyed that right away. So no longer that but anyway this is just the front of I mean the top part of his cage there's not a lot going on I still have to buy him more toys more interesting things to do all that kind of stuff 
I also have a ton of things up here that I didn't put in his cage yet. But anyway, moving on to the lower one. This is really just space that I leave him to run around because he loves jumping off the walls down here. So this is a, a wheel, a homemade wheel that my dad made Merlin. I don't know how he made it, don't ask me. But it works really well and it's mostly silent compared to the one that we used to have. And uh, Merlin fits just fine in there. I don't know if he'll demonstrate for you. Okay, Merlin, don't fall out. Don't jump out. You're not falling out. You're going to jump out. And if I ever need to, because, like, you know, how am I supposed to open this? Well, it's actually really simple. Uh, I can't really do it with one hand. Let me see if I can set the camera on his ledge over here. All right, hopefully that stays. Basically, I just, like, hold that and then pull. And then the wheel comes out and he jumped out as well. And the wheel comes out just like this. And then, as you can see with the axles, you can take it out and clean underneath or whatever. And then to put it back in, you just fit it into the hole back there. And then do the same with the hole up here, just lifting it. And then also sticking it through the cage bars. This little metal. I don't know why I just showed you how to dismantle that. That had nothing to do with cage door. Anyway, this is just this toy that I made him and he loves to tug at it. It's like a fleece scrap thingy. And then these are some more ledges covered with fleece. I actually want to get more for up there and around this whole area. And then this is tile that I use for his bedding down here because he doesn't really pee on the tile. He either pees in that corner or up here on the fleece. Where are you Merlin? He's not chewing that yet, but he will soon. Anyway, so this is just the tile that I use. And if you actually are interested in how I use tile as his bedding down here, I have a whole video on that that I can put down in the description box or that you guys can just check out. I don't know. But anyway, that's pretty much all I have down here. What I'm planning to do is just to add more ledges and more chew toys to the side of the cage. I really want to limit all the messy stuff up here in his cage up there. So that's my plan currently. What are you doing? What are you doing, Marilyn? The fugitive is back in his cage. Oh yeah, and then if you guys were wondering how he gets up because there's literally like such a huge gap. You just saw him, he jumps, he's fine, he likes it. All right guys, so that's it for my cage tour. Oh yeah, down here I just have his extra storage place and I just keep his pan in his haven. But yeah, that's pretty much it. His cage is really, really bland and boring right now, I know, but I'm going to be getting him a whole lot of better things, remodeling his cage, getting him new toys, just making his cage the dream one that I've always wanted. So anyway, but until that day, this is where it has to be dealt with. Um, but before I leave for the summer, because I'm gonna leave soon, I am going to buy him some chew toys just so that he has something to do. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I will see you in my next video, guys. Thank you so much for watching.